Hello, everybody! It is Zigzag Gamer, and like I said, I'm. Ah! Phew, I thought I was gonna overjump that. And like I said in the last episode, I'm probably just gonna pre record um, today's episode because I can't be asked to uh, do it tomorrow. Um, but I'll probably end up pre recording the day, the next day's episode. Um, it's always good uh, if I, you know, plan on pre recording more than just one day's episode if I record a few days episode because it really does give me a big break. Oh, this one's big. I just realized something. I don't have my strap. I almost said I don't have my strap on, but then you guys are going to think of something terrible to say. Shame on you! <laughs> um, no, I don't have the, uh, the safety strap around my wrist. Two reasons I wear it, partially because I don't like it flicking around when I'm playing this game, it just flies everywhere and starts hitting, hitting my hand and my wrist and the controller and that, and that bugs me. Secondly, uh, if the horrible case does happen that it flies out of my hand, I'm pretty sure I've got a good grip on it, but if it does, I'm not letting it fly at my laptop screen or my TV screen. Um, I doubt I'd manage to fling it that hard to go out my TV screen, really. Um, but my laptop screen is right here, so it might just fly off that way. Um. Oh god. Right, how am I going to get around here? Go and navigate this. Oh. Alright, I realize what I'm going to do. Um. I have to come back to this after getting. Oh god. Why did I just jump off? Um. I can't. I'm not thinking straight. I need to. Think about where I'm going. Right. There we go. It's much easier when you have the blowy thingy fan, whatever you want to call it. That was pretty simple, and I think we can get that just now. Oh, there's a chest down there. I'm going to go back and get that chest. What's up here? It's a trap! Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the, this is the chest for um, uh, the Gust Bellows. There we go. That's what it's called. Um... God, sitting down, like, not being able to spread my legs out, so my legs are mostly crossed when I record these, because I have the laptop right here, it can't really go too far, because the HD PVR is right behind it. Um, so yeah, I don't really get a lot of room, so sitting like this isn't the most comfortable of all positions, but it's a hell of a lot more comfortable when my knees start hurting, or I start getting pins and needle. The only problem about back recording all in one. Hey, we got a blue bird feather now. They're easy enough to collect, but it takes a while of sneaking, so it's good that we get a lot of these in chests so that later on when we get to upgrade various things like the ancient not the ancient sister and shield, that doesn't make sense. When we go to upgrade the oh that, that just reminded me, I'll get a new shield soon. Uh, when we go to upgrade the uh, the other shield, whatever it's called. Alright, too many spikes there. Alright, oh, yep, yeah, so we've already got that equipped. It. Um, of course, you can't see now that I've changed the position. Um, I did ask you what you thought of it in the last episode, but because I'm pre recording this one, I don't know your opinions yet until it's uploaded, and that won't be for like another 10 hours um, because of the amount of time it takes to render and various things. Um, but I'm kind of preferring the idea, I don't want it in front of the health. And in front of the, um, in front of the, uh, what's it called? I don't want it really in front of there, and I think it's perfect placement to have it in front of, uh, the, what's it called? Over the equipment that I've got equipped it, because you can see that it's clearly in my hand. Look at this, look at this, isn't that hilarious? Okay, let's stop talking with him. Right, so there's spikes here, spikes there. Is there any way back up? I have to go all the way back around to here. God damn it. Gah! Try not to fall off this time. Oh god, I didn't even see the spikes right there. Right, so I we must. Oh, no, spikes here. There, there we go. That'll do. Um, god, the only problem about this part of the game is just. Damn navigation. I keep having to navigate this stupid area because there's a lot of jumping at this part. And I am not good at jumping. Oh hell no, I can't control link properly in this game. This this freaking Wii remote. It's just it doesn't feel right. 
It just does not feel feel right. Oh my god, look how many... They weren't there a second ago, were they? This thing's great. It's going to do us wonders. And we can blow this guy into... against the rocks. Okay, no, that didn't work. But he's going to respawn soon, right? Where's he going to respawn? Where are you going to respawn? Please respawn. Please tell me I haven't just messed that up. Please tell me I can just throw a bomb at this. Oh, thank god he got stuck in there. That makes me so much happier. Phew. Oh my god. Oh, like, so totally. Get off of there. Silly things. Get off. Alright. You're coming down one way or another. Ah, he just jumped into me. Ninja. Damn you. Alright, here we go. Here's a quick block back up. I'm not sure if we'll be coming through here again. Push it. Oh, just fell off. Oh, now he respawns. Oh, hello. Hope you enjoyed your little holiday, because I have to use one of my bombs. Right, and... Oh, that's in the way. Get out of our way. You silly sand. Brilliant. What was the boss for this again? I can't remember the boss for this one, actually. Oh, my days. How could I forget the boss? Oh yeah, I don't push it forwards, do I? Just push it out of the way. Um, for life of me, I can't remember. Nobody tell me in the comments. I want it to be a surprise now. Or I want to think of it myself. Can I blow bats? Haha, <laughs> look at them. Silly bats. You are no match for me. Even if you are electric bats. If my friends don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. It's in my head now. Oh, I've been watching this ad. Deadliest Warrior on Netflix. Um, I just sort of been watching a lot of Scrubs. I always watch Scrubs on Netflix. I love that show. Uh, let's save it again. I haven't saved it since the last episode. Um, but yeah, it's it sort of... They, they added a couple more of the seasons on there, but they haven't added the rest. Um, which is kind of annoying me. They seem to sort of add three seasons every, like, fucking... God knows how long. Um, so they added three more seasons and that, but I'm like, it's on TV as well. There's like one episode a night on TV. So I sort of get my fill, and then like where it's at on TV um, currently, I think is like in time or ahead with sort of just about uh, where, where Netflix sort of hasn't uploaded yet. So, you know, I've already seen everything on there like a billion times. And like I can go back and watch it, but I'd have to not be uh, not have seen it for a while, and um, because it's been on TV and that recently, um, it's not worth watching. So anyway, I, I um, yeah, well that was that was it took a long time just to get to the point. Um, so then I I started looking around for something else to watch, and this Deadliest Warrior came up um, on the the home page, and I was like, oh. Well, what's this all about? So I read the description. I thought, yeah. And then I started watching it, and I was like, yeah, this isn't half bad. And I saw the first episode, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna carry on watching. Um, I, I, I really like the concept in which they do it. Um, I did watch something on YouTube where they have this artificial skull, and sort of they have the shoulder blades, and it's just the uh, sort of upper torso, this part here. Um, and they, they just sort of use different weapons on it on that show just to see how much damage it can really do to somebody. Um, please don't knock me off, thank you, God. Um, but yeah, it's 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 really good, and they sort of test the damage, the speed, the you know usefulness of uh, the equipment and armor, and sort of you know how skilled one of these fighters would be with that particular weapon that they hone. Um, and then they put all that data into a program which then simulates a thousand one-on-one -on -one fights with the fighters um, pitted against each other and basically whoever you know won the most time in the outcomes um, would be the supreme champion and they sort of acted out they do 
the result in a, you know, sort of an ad reenactment fight between them. And episode two is Vikings and Samurais. Now, my bet's on the Samurais because Vikings are just... They are vicious and barbaric and, I mean, come on. But they wear very little armor. Um, they go in with this brute force and that. Um, which is all well and good. But Samurais are supposed to be very quick with very light but razor sharp swords. So I would imagine... Uh, you know, who do you think? Samurais or Vikings? See, now, I have this this feeling that um, Vikings could do some, some real damage, but uh, the Samurais, they're supposed to be a lot more trained, than I imagine a Viking would just do a bit of, you know, they probably do some training, they're probably very pumped and that, but they're probably nowhere near as skilled in combat as, oh my god, look at this. Then you know, obviously going to be nowhere near as skilled as a Samurai. So, my bet's on the Samurai. I'm yet to watch that episode, though. I think I'll go watch that after I'm finished done recording this this episode of Skyward Sword. Um, but yeah, I, I signed up for the free trial. Oh, God, he wouldn't stop running. And it wasn't my remote that time. I think I just had my thumb on it a tiny bit pushing him. Yeah, it wasn't my remote, so keep running now. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I signed up to Netflix when they had that free deal on for a month. And I never really used Netflix before. And uh, now I've started using it, I don't really want to use anything else. So it's great. Uh, they really do need to get a lot more shows on there. It's quite American based, so I don't know a lot of the shows. Or they're just not my thing because they're too American. But they need to get a few more comedies on there, but a lot of those I can catch on things like 4OD or BBC iPlay, I mean, uh, you know, more British aired things. Any problem is, I want to watch a lot of How I Met Your Mother as well, my all-time favourite show, and sometimes I want to watch episodes back. Um, all those episodes, the problem is, a lot of the episodes are aired in America first, so um, if they won't broadcast to the, you know, to the UK until they're out on TV here, which is a bit gutting. So I can't re-watch or anything like that. Um, why the hell am I going over here? Don't I need to go... Where am I going? Oh, how do I get over there? I obviously need to... That's just a doorway out of this place. I don't need to go out of this place, do I? Or was I coming through the ladder? I can't remember. Oh my god, this helps me none at all. That's the... I am totally confused looking at that. Oh, there we go. I see it now. So I came in... Right. So I came in this door, right? Yeah, I came in this one. Haha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Um there we go. Recenter this. Um So that's the door that I'd be leaving from. So I really don't want to go over there. How in the world am I gonna get over there? It's gonna be a switch around here that I'm just not seeing. Using this this uh, gust bellow. Really messes up the centering. Oh, there we go. I forgot about these things. You, you'll see these around a couple of times. There we go. You'll use these a couple of times in this place, and you'll also see them um, once or twice more around, um, around the place. Oh, this one moves. Check you out. You got wheels. Or one sort of rotor. Oh god, how do I kill that thing over there? I don't think I've ever killed one of them. Are they possible to be killed? I might have done. Those things are deadly, though. They fire like rockets at you or something. That's crazy. Or like they throw fire something at you anyway. Maybe a laser beam. I can't remember what they fire at you, people. Right, I need to. Oh, go away. Okay, yeah. This thing's not gonna do anything. Oh, maybe I use this on it. Seems to have some effect on it. Oh, go away from me with your freaking rocket. Ow! Just trying to push this along. Go away. Go away. Go away. There you go. Right, I'm not even sure if I can kill this thing. 
Go away! Look, nobody likes you. Oh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Ah, come on, just... There we go, just a little more. Pretty much there. Lost quite a lot of hearts, just trying to get away from that guy. Oh god, these things, these things. Oh, you're straight down, and you're across. No! I can't- I, I couldn't reach it! Damn sword being too small. Go away! Seriously, nobody likes you. Nobody here wants to talk to you! You're firing your missiles. It's totally cheating. Cheating! Oh, thank god, I do have a ferry. So that is, that is a positive. You were not a worthy adversary. Alright, those things are easy to take care of. I just don't know what I'm going to do about the actual main part. Alright, there we go. We finally got around to this. So, it, it took us like a quarter of an hour just to clear this room. Jeez. I hate this. I hate this whole bloody place. And I cannot wait till we're done with it. Yeah. Oh. Because I wasn't aimed on him. I didn't really do anything. Oh, god, I thought we'd actually get there. There we go. I was having trouble near the start of the game killing those things. I didn't realise you just, you know, bounce off your shield. Right. Now I can move this for some reason. Over to here. Oh, that's because I can get up that way. Hey! You, Mr. Sneaky. I think you're trying to get me. Right, uh, this thing was a bit of a pain in the ass the first time I killed it. I'm not sure how much luck I'll have with it now. Yeah. Coming up. Right. Uh, so when we activate this uh, time shift stone up here, uh, wish me luck. Because <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to. Oh, don't really do that. If I'm, uh, I'm going to be able to kill it without losing the fairy. Because we haven't got too many hearts. Right. Could, uh, I really could do with to eat. Ugh. Breakfast sounds good right about now. And die! And go away. Right. Hopefully we... Yes. No, nope, what's in here? Amber relic. Not useful. Where's the time shift stone? I probably, I probably already like looked at it and not even noticed it. It was probably like off in the corner of my eye. I'll watch the recording back, like I do. I always watch recordings back when I'm doing something, and I always notice something that I uh, didn't notice in the first place, and I'll be like, "Why?" Right. I'm guessing it's below me, but I just wanna. Oh, what am I doing? Where's that in there? That's quite big. Yeah, it's in there. So, I want to... There we go! I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be done, but that's the way I'm doing it, god damn it! <laughs> right, this guy's a bit annoying, because you've got to quickly uh, use this uh, gust bellow, and then... And then when his mouth opens up, you've got to... Oh, god! Right, he won't leave... Oh, no. Yeah, he doesn't go too far from one area. Alright, you gotta, you gotta get that. And then... Oh, God. I think the one you can only jab it. I think that one you can do what you like, but I think... Oh, God damn it. See that? He just rushes you there. So you gotta be really quick about it. Yeah, this one you can only jab it. And the other one, you have to, uh, you have to slash. So that's a bit of a pain. Ugh. I don't feel like we've made a whole lot of progress this episode. Um, but you know, at least we're making some progress. There was 
times uh, in previous Zelda Let's Plays, uh, like Ocarina of Time, where I'd wander around for a while and only really do one thing in about 20 minutes' time. You got the dungeon map! So, I really like the dungeon map in this game, because not only does it show the rest of the areas, it shows all the chests, there's no need to... Oh, I said this in the, in the last temple, I'm pretty sure, in the other temple. But yeah, there's no real need to go around and grab, uh, you know, another item just to show off the chests. I'm not sure what you thought of that, but to be honest, I hated having to go and grab the compass as well, just so you knew where the chests were. Because, to be honest, when I know where the chests are, I don't even go purposely go and find them. Because, in all my luck, I'll grab all the important ones, and the other ones will have, like, one rupee and then one piece. Right. So there's a switch here, obviously, to open the door. Right, how do I get over there? Put some thought into this, Keelan. Right, will that roll? Yeah, that'll roll over to him. Maybe... Will it make the, the explosion? Will that kill him? Nope, I gotta get my arm right up here and just roll it at him. There we go. Now, if I believe... Uh, if I'm correct, there is a path along here. There we go. Okay. thought so. Ah, there we go. Don't know what I was doing. Now, there's also something, I believe, under here. There we go. A nice, smart one. God, I'm good at this game. Uh, at this rate, I'm going to be mid-puzzle, mid aren't I? I might just complete this today. Um, so, yeah, you'll see for three episodes the same shirt. Um, oh, well. I mean, I, I kind of want to stop. But I know uh, I'm pretty close to finishing this off. So I may as well do just that. Plus I'm really curious about what the boss is. My, my favourite boss of the game, aside from the final boss, which I think is just just brilliant, the final boss. I do love it. Oh, look at that goddess plume. Um, I do love it. Oh my god. Especially when you have this, the, the, the true master sword and the Hylian shield. They look so badass in this game. But uh, on to my point. The first Sacred Flame Trial is definitely my favourite boss. Aside from um, aside from the last one. It's hard to choose between those two. I mean, those are my two favourite by far. Um, another thing is, when you get to the second Sacred Flame Trial and you get to that boss on the, the whole ghost ship thing, the final boss there... Did anyone else think that that looked an awfully lot like the, uh, the, the tentacle looking... It was it was like the one-eyed green monster from Monsters, Inc. You know, that movie um, from, uh, what are they called? What's their company called? They did Toy Story, didn't they? Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, oh god, I've lost the path. But, uh, like I was saying, I should probably mark the end of the path of the beacon. Uh, yeah, it looks like that mixed with, like, uh, another one of the characters. Uh, she was all, like, she had all these, like, tentacles. A bit like Medusa. I... Can I not place beacons down inside? Oh, God, it's happened again. I just let go of my sprint. Trying to find the end of the path. I really don't think it's that long. I think it's just... What? Happen again? Seriously, how short is this path on the map? It goes out quite far. How many hearts have I lost? Ah, we only lose a bit. Oh wow, it's really not that that big. So this guy is on the path. Right, there we go. Pain in the ass. Yeah, you can dive underneath all you want. You're still going to die. Right. Uh, okay, we can't blow him, obviously. Did I kill the jelly blob? I don't know what I did there. Get away from me! And... Oh, whoopsie-daisy. 
Oh god, we got like five minutes left of the episode. Uh, this kind of bugs me. Because I want to get more done. Oh, wrong way. So glad you can sprint through these things. Well, not sprint, but you know, you can speed yourself up. Yay, one rupee. How I'm turning in these very, very tight corners, how I even fit in these is beyond me. It makes no sense whatsoever, but you know, Shigeru Miyamoto does what he does. And the team that works on this, they do what they do too. Whoever made these tunnels though has no idea how physics and the human body works. Ah, oh, this was a bit of a fun area. I like this. I did enjoy this. Aha. Oh god. Look at all these spikes. So many rupees over there. Well, there's three, but you know. That would take me up to 420. Get out of my way! And you! Pots underneath here. Oh, not gonna get those. Um, gonna find the right way round. Also keeping an eye on the time so I don't go over. There we go. Don't really want to end this all off in uh, without saying goodbye to you guys. I like saying goodbye to you guys. Right, get away from me, get away from me. Yeah, okay. Right, there we go. Oh, that thing exploded and had me, man. Ah, oh, shit, I missed the switch. Completely forgot about that. Where are you? There's a chest there. Ah, damn it. Where are you, switch? There you are. I doubt there's very much in that chest, maybe 20 rupees at most, so we're going to skip it. So it cannot be asked to find the way round. Just for that one chest. Really getting close to the end of time. Oh, this can be, this can be difficult. This thing's already pulled down. Yeah, what's up with that? There we go. I'm going to jab it. It's going to be a bit of a pain. Now, I really do enjoy this part where you've got to stay along with the car as it moves because, um, as you'll see in a second, as the region leaves, so does the platform. But this one's easy. It doesn't move that fast. It's not a big. Easy peasy, them are squeezing. Right, stop blowing this. Is that will activate just now? God damn. Can I... Honestly, oh, I think I just slashed it. I'm not sure what I did there. Come on, come down here. I swear to God, I hurt it. Can I bounce these back? I'm not sure. I need to get rid of this guy somehow, he's in my way. Right. If this one doesn't bounce back, I'll, I'll probably, uh... Oh god, what's he doing? He's flying away. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, kicked his ass! Why didn't I think of that earlier? Oh, look at that. Just just quite a few rupees as well for killing it. Phew! Um, I knew there was some way to do this. Anyway, pretty much rounding off to the end of the time, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Um, you guys kick ass. <laughs> I just love you. So, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> ah! Can't get this pull. Got it. You know, turned up to full HD. Somehow the 480p or 360p looks better off of um, a better quality capture card. Um... So, yeah, you want to have that HD quality. That's a big main thing. Second thing is uh, you want to be over here too much. Oh, I've got one bomb left. Just die already. Yes, that killed him. Good.
Hopefully it doesn't get stuck on it. Ah, you've got to be joking me. What's that? I, I did this in like two seconds flat the other time. I need to get down there.